Konnichiwa, boku wa Rocky desu, and welcome back to today's video where we are going to be reading some more Chainsaw Man. And today we are going to be doing two chapters. I just want to say thank you guys so much, uh, of course, for being so patient with this one. Once again, two chapters is probably going to turn into three, three is probably going to turn into five. Um, but either way, I really just want to say thank you for being so patient with this one. I was really busy uh, over this weekend just with some other stuff as well too. But um, yeah, always appreciate the vibes and really glad to, of course, have you guys over here. If you do want to catch full uncensored versions of these manga read-throughs, they will be up on my website, LKTVAU, starting today. Um, so we'll start posting them today. So do feel free to go and give those a look if, if of course, you guys would like. But also Chainsaw Man, we have reacted to uh, all of that over on the website as well too so do definitely go and check that out one other really quick piece of housekeeping i want to say is please y'all i i, I kind of don't think that this is really like something or I, I didn't think that this is something that necessarily needs to be like mentioned in online spaces but like as i am reading through the story for the first time i kind of thought it was common sense that like people would not spoil the story uh out of respect to the fact that like I wanted to enjoy it the same way at the same time if that makes sense thankfully uh nothing too big has been provided to me but uh I see and have even been told as well too not to look at certain videos because people are like straight up just spoiling massive plot lines uh and stuff in the comments so please 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 do not spoil in the comments out of respect not only to myself who I think naturally like, i think i deserve the right to be able to experience it the same way that you did for the first time in terms of being shocked and you know surprised and happy and sad at, at certain things winding up happening instead of someone saying no you're wrong this happens or this happens or something i do understand that for some people it can be really hard but yeah it's just not cool man so um i would really appreciate it if people just didn't spoil it's it's okay to like you know chat like you're reading for the first time or to talk about things that maybe I said that were interesting or like mm, okay we'll see where that goes or something like that but yeah i just kind of think i just kind of thought that was common sense but please please do not spoil anything that happens in this and um of course yeah no need to confirm whether i am right or wrong with things naturally part of a reaction is uh the enjoyment of being wrong i love nothing more than being proven wrong I think it's great by the actual story itself, mind you. But anyway, thank you guys so much, of course, for tuning in and of course for listening to that. If you do want to stick around for more Chainsaw Man, do feel free. Of course, if you give the video a like and subscribe if you guys enjoy the vibes over here. If we get to 75 likes, actually, no, you know what? Let's make it 90. No, let's make it 100. <laughs> if, we, um, if we can hit 100 likes on this video, then I will not only put out the next chapters really quickly, but we'll put out five chapters instead as well too. So do, uh, do feel free to, of course, run this one up. But today we've got chapters 56 and 57 tentatively, and then maybe 58. But we start off with a curse and a fist. Now, dude, our three guys have just been absolutely bonked, all right? The Americans are here. They have uh, infiltrated our ranks per se, so to speak. And uh, meanwhile, Denji and Power are chowing down burgers at what looks to be a Burger King. So without any further ado, let's go ahead. Let's get straight into it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Denji, you can have my vegetables. Oh, yeah, sure. What? A well-balanced diet is essential to maintain a healthy body. You pick them out a lot at home too. Eat your veggies. Excuse me? Are you giving orders to me? You're better? Fucking power, bro. If I wanted to, I could turn this place into a sea of blood, you know? Blech. At least try them. Here you go. Oh, tastes like dirt. Ugh, gross. Oh, that table's open. Pretty busy in here. No more. I'm gonna barf. Eat it, Benji. Where are you going? What? No way. I never want to barf. I never want to eat barf again. Restroom. It'll be perfect, Buff. Promise. Ugh, bruh. Just remembering. <laughs> like, you know, he literally just wanted his first kiss, you know? And his first kiss is just... Yeah, nah. <laughs> I do. I remember. I don't, do you guys remember his first kiss, bro? You just look back on that scene and I was like... <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Fucking rank. Can I have a sip of your soda? What? Fine, but only one. 
I'll eat your bath for 10,000 yen. Bro, that is cheap as fuck. 10,000 yen is like... 100 bucks. That's nothing. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? That's nothing. Like eating vomit for a th for 100 bucks? Don't talk about bath while we're eating. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I refuse to take another bite. I hate vegetables. Hey, die! Ah, the fiend ran for it. Nah, she's not going anywhere. She'll be waiting outside. Should we head out too? Yeah, sounds like a plan. Damn true, okay. Who is this? Why are you being introduced here? I've never eaten a hamburger before. Is this the... Is this a Soviet chick? Who is with... Uh, what's his name? Tolka? What did you do to the target just now? It was, right? I used the curse devil. Huh? Stab someone with this four times and you can take their life. But you pay a great price. I already pricked the target three times undetected. What? Ma'am, how? I'll entrust the fourth and final time to you, Tolka. Damn. This is my test for you. If you pass, I'll introduce you to the devils I have contracts with. Oops. Damn, she literally can't even fucking eat a burger, for real. Ugh. It looks like I lost sensation in several, in several of my fingers for the contract. I wonder if I still have my sense of taste. Well, it's so delicious. So delicious that if no one else was here, I'd get up and dance. There's ketchup on your mouth. I mean, it's kind of cute, but still. Kobeni, you can come out now. Oh, lovely. Ah, <laughs> oh, this devil looks brilliant. Yep, love that. Grapes is crazy. Gosh, what kind of devil do we report this as? Grapes? Let's take a break after we hand this devil over. Absolutely. Sounds great, she says. Thank you for always treating me to stuff. Eat up. Don't be shy. I can't eat because of this mask. So, I like to watch you eat and be happy. Aw, I'll go right for it then. That's kind of cute. Ah, that's super good. This is my second time eating soft serve in my life. In grade school, just once, I got my parents to buy me some for my birthday. The first taste was so good. That first taste was so good. So good that I broke into a run and then tripped and dropped it. <laughs> Sounds just like you. Violence. For a violence fiend, you don't seem very violent. Me? Yeah, I know. I'm totally not violent. They tell me I still have a lot of my human brain left, which is rare for fiends. I remember the school I went to when I was human, my favorite place for cheap eats, stuff like that, but not how I died. I wonder if he's the violence fiend, but like there's like something that needs to unlock within him for him to be able to like fully harness that and stuff like that, or for him to like fully change. For that i mean because like yeah sure he's got like the human side of him which he can still acknowledge denji does very much so as well too but he's got to have some kind of catalyst i think i mean denji his catalyst being a weapon devil anyway is that like you know he's got like a rip cord of a chainsaw that he needs to um set off and stuff like that i'm sure the other weapon devils as well too uh, have their own as for the knight like the the sword devil so the original one um that we met up with so the yakuza the Yakuza's, what was it, his grandson? Yeah, his grandson. I can't really remember uh, exactly what he needed to do. I don't think he actually needed to do anything. He just, like, he just was able to, like, manifest his sword. But even for, you know, Ray's, she had, like, a, she had a ripcord that she needed to pull in her neck as well, too. But, um, yeah, he's probably got, like, some emotional or mental catalyst, I think. All I remember is that Makima saved me. But yeah, not a fan of violence. I'm all about love and peace. Peace. I like peace better too. Oh dear, here we go. Oh, 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 Jesus. Are you public sa safety devil hunters? Huh? Tendo and Subaru were, taking out, were taken out on our way here. You gotta tell HQ quick. Wait, so this guy... So my man... 
was shot and 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 and, and all that shit. They didn't even wind up finishing him off. And my guy drove this car that was crashed into that tree all the way here. That's crazy. Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? What? Huh? Who are you? My buddy and my master were both killed, damn it. Y'all go find a phone now. Huh? All right, we get it. Pay phone, pay phone. What a pair of idiots. Don't believe me before I flash a public safety badge. Ugh, I hate humans. Stupid jerks made us patrol until 11. I see now. Those guys aren't protecting me. They're using me as bait. Bait? You're right. We're using you guys as bait to draw them out. You piece of crap. You what? You two are harder to kill than us ordinary humans. Don't hold it against me. It's so we can go to Enoshima as soon as possible. It's for... Enoshima? Well, in that case, I guess I'll let it go. <laughs> fucking... Fucking Denji. Hold on, no fair, that's dirty. You two get rewards for work, but I get nothing, it's awful. Okay, power, then... What do you want? <laughs> I want to suck out all the humans' blood until they die. That's crazy. Why are we true to character all the time? She's so funny, bro. I mean, like, she's funny in her own way, but she totally means that too. That's the wild part. <laughs> that's the wild part. I love how she's like, can I kill someone? All right, that's fair. Denji, once this assassin business calms down, let her suck you try until you die. What? No way. Denji's blood. I mean, she wouldn't even like that anyway because she'd taste the devil blood too. Woohoo! Really? Wait. Wouldn't she? Because, I mean, the, the bad devil didn't like his blood. Yeah, no, nah, okay, whatever. Anyway. Damn, punch the feast and love that. Alright. That's about as close to a joke that you'll ever get out of me. <laughs> Chapter 57. Suddenly. Oh! There they are. Hmm? Hey, how are ya? Kurose, it's been a while. We heard what happened to Tendo and Sura Subaru. You don't need to push yourself to join this mission. That's the word from Miss Makima. I agree with... I agree with her. You ought to rest and recuperate. I begged Higashiyama and her buddy to help me slip out of the hospital be here. I want to avenge my friends. I have to, please. I know how you feel, but... Is that your car? Um... Yeah, I bought it with my own money. I can chauffeur my family around with it, so... Oh, really? I've been tired of all this walking lately. This is perfect. Give me a ride. Huh? This looks like my car. Isn't this my car? Are you a thief? What? N no. Tis mine. <laughs> Tis mine. <laughs> um, the that's the driver's seat. Got a problem? Want me to wash the car in your blood? Calm down. I obviously have a driver's license. Blondie there. Is he the chainsaw then? Yeah? So what if I am? I'm a pro too. I won't hold you back. Would you let me help you out with this mission? Put her there? I don't want to touch some dude's hand. Denji. Nice to meet you. I'll protect you. Enough for Tendo and Subaru too. Fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ power. Why we let her near an automobile, bro? Why we let her near a vehicle just in general? Why do we let her near anything? Why is she unsupervised? Like, literally, honestly, out of her and Denji, she is the most off-the-chain one. Like, she's the one doing the most, bro. Oh. <laughs> My dude just got out of hospital. Been run over. God damn. Oh, F. Yup. Oh, lovely. Love that. Yep. Dude's KO'd. Denji's probably KO'd too. Nah, he good. Ugh. Is he? He's probably dead. <laughs> Bruh. My guy could be dead instead. Dead ass. Huh. Fucking power. <laughs> Fucking power. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Tis your car. This isn't my fault. <laughs> 
Are you trying to shift the blame onto me, you murderer? <laughs> what the hell? What's wrong with you? I wasn't driving, it's her fault. My god, Hayakawa, look! His face changed. <gasps> oh! Oh! It's one of the Americans. So it's one of the Americans, but he was able to, like, change his appearance? That's one of his abilities? Bruh. Holy fuck. Okay. So he was trying to slip in this way. He was trying to infiltrate this way instead. And probably, like, lead them to the other two. And or take them out in the process. God damn. Yeah, because I was literally going to say, that, like, when they had, when they were massacred, like, the other three, like, they looked like they were done done. And, like, I would, I would assume naturally anyway that, like, these American assassins wouldn't be that stupid to, like, just, you know, shoot up the car and then all of a sudden, like, you know, it's a done deal and that's that. Like, surely they check. Like, because they're, 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 like, they're trained for that. They're, they're not, like, hired goons. Like, they're literally, like, they're mercenaries. So, I mean, naturally, surely they should have been. Okay, this makes way more sense. And they did change faces as well in the last chapter. Yeah, right? They were even talking about accents. I just kind of didn't think that they would do that with, they, like, with, with, with him at least. I was like, fuck, you survived? Shit. I know this face. This is a devil hunter who moonlights as a hitman in America. In America. He's one of three brothers. They have a contract with the skin devil. Mmm, skin devil. Okay. As far as I know, they can steal the appearances of the corpses they've touched. Ah, corpses they've touched. Okay. Damn, can we kill this bitch and make sure he's dead dead? Good job, pal. Good job. You know what? I take it back. I was wrong. I was wrong. That is W. She's... You know what? Watch her switch back up. <laughs> Watch her switch up. Tis my car. Yes, it's all me. <laughs> Ooh, I knew it. <laughs> Looks like I was the only one who saw through the enemy's disguise. The glory is mine. Mine. All mine. Denji, I avenged you. <laughs> Three brothers have the contract. That leaves two more. They could have already replaced any of us. The glory is mine. We show each other our devils to verify our identities. Let's move somewhere quiet. Showing each other your devils, which is pretty much like forbidden anyway. Ugh. Damn. Damn, stay calm, stay calm. Damn it, like hell can I keep my cool after that? I'm gonna kill that damn fiend. Ugh. Everything okay, sir? You don't look so good. Oh, I just... I just saw two people die in an accident. I guess a pro wouldn't puke. Am I missing something? Maybe this is one of the younger ones? Yeah. Mmm, bruh, look at that fucking smile, dude. I guess a pro wouldn't puke. Bro, low key. I don't know if it's me. I'm not getting that. Anyone? Is anyone getting that? I, I to I'm totally not getting it. Is it because it's six in the morning? <laughs> is it because it's six in the morning? It's just not adding up. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, all right. Next, <laughs> fifty-eight. We go. <laughs> all right, Yutaro Kuros here. Ugh. Hey, you, what the hell? You hit my car. Halloween. That's all she says, bro. That's crazy. She's got the love hearts in her eyes, too. So these are Quan Shi's people. 
Halloween. Halloween. All right, hold up. Let me, let me get this one real quick. I think this is the way easier way to show this panel. Halloween, 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 Halloween. All right, now he's like part of... Is he like brainwashed or something? Shall we, ladies? Or is he just... Something. Okay, why is he so enthusiastically involved? Damn, dude, what a... What an entourage. She reminds me of our other men's in public safety, our trainer. Heike. Lady Quanxi, Lady Quanxi. Oh my goodness, look over there. Hmm? Conveyor belt sushi. It's Japan's famous conveyor belt sushi. It's kind of cute, at least. They're like, so, uh, they're like, so obsessed or so passionate about something so simple, so simple, so commonplace. Uh-huh. Welcome to Halloween. F fiends. Halloween. 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 Right this way, Halloween. Is, she, uh, is this like mind control or something? Is she like a brain devil? <laughs> or something? I don't know, bro. She's got this damn eye hanging out of her socket and stuff. There's a reason. Ahaha. Look, Lady Quanxi. The sushi's streaming pass. Mm-hmm. I want macro sushi. Lady Quanxi, may I show off my knowledge of fish? Hmm, sure. Did you know that almost all white fish taste basically the same? Supposedly, the only real difference between them is the texture and how oily they are. I don't need or want to know that. <laughs> I thought so. Halloween, Halloween. Ah, spit that out. Plates aren't edible. Chew your food before you swallow. Is she dead ass just eating the whole fucking plate? Jesus Christ, bro. These characters are so unique. I'm out of energy for the day. Job can wait until tomorrow. Next time you're in Tokyo, let's go swimming again. Phone me. Hey, Kurose. It's been a while. Come on in. Oh, you don't look so good. Okay. What's up? You've been awful quiet today. Sorry. Rough day at work. Tomono. You didn't get any calls or hear from anyone today? Say from your parents or friends. Phone calls? Nah, nobody calls me anymore except my boss and my ma. So, you ended up in Tokyo unexpectedly, but you didn't get a hotel room or nothing? Oh... Uh, well, nah. Huh? Seriously though, if you're in Tokyo, don't crash with me. Shouldn't you stay with your darling, Misa? You two having a fight? Oh, right. Yeah, uh... Yeah, gotcha. I thought he was like one of the brothers, but I was like, holy fuck. This ain't clicking. <laughs> you know, your ma was worrying about when she'll get grandkids. You've got a girlfriend. Ain't it about time you got married and took a load off your folks' mind? Oh, that photo? It's from when we were on the soccer team. I guess Nishimo and Yimai still play. You still got your looks, don't ya? Yeah, my guy looks worse for wear. Sorry. What? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. I'm so... Yeah. Ah, what? God. What the hell am I doing? Why are you crying? You're too drunk. Kurose, you awake? Listen, I'm, I'm going to quit my job. Will you start a second-hand clothing shop with me? I'll foot the bill for the startup costs and all that. You see, if you stick with this devil hunter thing, you're going to get eaten by a devil one day. Like your big brother. Look after your parents before you die. What would your brother say if he saw you like this? Yeah, damn. We're immortal. Why? Because we're ruthless, soulless, and emotionless. So don't be afraid. A pro always gets the job done. Would he really say something that cool? Yeah, dude, these American guys are really interesting. 
What's up above? Jeez, bruh. My god. <laughs> we like turning each other into zombies or something here. Good little boys and girls, I can't deliver presents all by myself. Oh, ill, <laughs> dude. This guy's the sc this guy. He's he's not just scary, but dude's like downright just fucking creepy as hell. All right, let's read to sixty. <laughs> Fifty-nine and sixty. I'm immortal. I'm immortal. I'm immortal. Chapter fifty-nine mess. Toka, it's time to go hunting. Let's go after we do it one more time. Okay. Yeah, we gotta be zombies or some shit. Ooh. Okay. Lord. Okay, this is where we're at. Shit, man. So we like that. Got it, got it. Holy fuck, miss. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Makima? The dolls, huh? Yeah, so he turns them into dolls. Or zombies, right? Looks like Santa Claus has arrived in Japan. I'll clean up the dolls a little longer. Beam, you go help Denji. Yes, understood. Princey. Yes, Lady Makima? Oh my god, Jesus, all those legs. Germany keeps all kind of devils. There's no telling what Santa will throw at us. Whatever happens, extract Denji above all else. Please, leave it to me. Also, there will probably be a large number of deaths this time. Retrieve as many of our people's bodies as you can. Because can, can, can he use them as dolls even if they're dead too? Flexible coffee, okay. Let's grab lunch in this department store. Once they're inside the department store, take them out. Once they're in dis once they're inside the department store, take them out. Oh. So once they become dolls, they can basically like shape shift into fucking weapons practically. Like I wonder if they would be able to like turn like if that's like the only, like if that's the only shape, like if that's the only thing that they can like shape shift into, or whether there's more. Jesus Christ, man. Nah, I've been waiting for you. Oh my God, holy shit. So they break like dolls too? Whoa, they turn to stone. Cool. Stay back unless you want to end up like them. The stone devil is fickle. Ah, oh, so he's stone devil. Got it. It's the doll devil. If they touch you, even just your clothes, you'll turn into one of them. Oh, that's fucked, man. How'd you know they were coming? The footsteps of the people at a distance for our, from us were too systematic. Watch them and you'll see what I mean. Humans have more idiosyncrasies in their gates. Miss Makima had warned us Germany's Santa would be coming. All we had to do was stay vigilant and ready with countermeasures. Yeah, right. That's why we're teamed up like this. Because we knew. So we're basically teamed up and paired off. Or rather, should I say, just teamed up with countermeasures to the dolls and where they were expected to come out. Which is why we've got the stone devil to petrify them and obviously break them up. Got it. Very smart. It almost kind of like, is he then? That just makes me sus, bro. Like, Makima knows all of that. <laughs> like, I swear, as we read further, I trust Makima less and less, but don't know who else to put my trust in, if that makes sense. I literally have no idea. She's scary. Yeah, Makima's scary. And also, she knows so much, yet we know so little, which also makes me think, mm. we know so little, and Denji and just the entire squad know so little as well, too. 
other people know different pieces of information and stuff so she's not transparent or honest not that she has to be either but it just it kind of like mystery can be intriguing but like curiosity killed the cat you know like she can i i'm sure that there's things that we don't want to know about her in terms of what she's capable of because she could be a monster i think she is creepy how many of these things are there i don't know what kind of contract santa has but strong devils need strong contracts there should be a limit to how many dolls he can make oh fuck holy shit yeah basically he's turning everyone on the street into one the second floor run the second floor Fuck, there are too many of them. Hey, turn them into stone already. There are too many. I can only do it from on top of the circle. They're almost on me. Yeah, climb faster, you trash. Yeah. Oh my god, power, no. What? 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 If they even touch you, are we not touching right now? They've got her. Power. Oh, fuck. What? What the hell, man? We aren't turning into dolls. You liar. Oh, of course. Only humans get turned into dolls. Fiends must be immune. Oh. What about me? Am I immune? Behind you. They're right behind you. Nakamura, do it. Yes, sir. Who are you? Who's he? Who's this dude? Kong. Fuck. Bang. Dude, Kong is crazy. I love that. The fox devil. Let me see. That was a little too close for comfort, huh? I'm with Public Safety Devil Extermination Division 2. The names... We've had multiple devil hunters stationed in every building along your patrol route these past several days. We wanted to keep battles short. We can contain the collateral damage that way too. To people turned into dolls can never be themselves again. We aren't running from Santa. We wanted to put him down efficiently. Sorry that we've been using you as bait, Denji. The dolls can only be controlled from nearby. Santa is close. We'll put an end to it all today. Yeah, I feel like she got other plans. Ma'am, where are your hands? Or did you sacrifice them too? That's crazy. It's going to get noisy soon. I still can't believe Denji's been stabbed three times and didn't even fucking notice. This department store isn't safe. All civilians, please evacuate immediately via the emergency exits. I'm immortal. I'm immortal. I'm immortal. It's about time for the present. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Holy crap. There's a whole puppet army coming for us. Oh, how much is it going to cost to fix this dent? Dude, Corbeni, I wish you had your priority straight, girl. <laughs> Dude, that ignorance is bliss, man. <laughs> She's straight up just like, damn, this fucking car. i got to fix this car. Meanwhile. <laughs> meanwhile. Meanwhile, the entire freaking uh, in entire freaking town is basically turned into puppet dolls for sure. Meanwhile, we're fucking. <laughs> you know? Whatever. Yeah, Kobeni got through it. Lady Quanxi, since it seems like Santa's also here, let's put it off to tomorrow. We didn't get any sleep last night anyway. <laughs> we're all messed up. Mm -hmm. I'll mess you up even more. What do you mean by that? Okay. Oh, poor Poch that, bro. Okay, if you're bruh. The, 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 um, the characters just get more and more interesting, man. Chapter 60. Quanchi and the Fiends' 49-person massacre. Oh, fuck, that's what this is. 49-person massacre is fucking insane. Dude, she looks so badass, though. She is a baddie. It's like immediate too, the way they turn into dolls. Con. Oh yeah, we're... We're dodging and shit? No way, they're learning. You're all useless, stand back. Usage, five years. I'm sorry everyone. I need to use you. Damn. GG. Goodbye. Ah, <sighs> so that's the infamous lifespan weapon. You should have just used it from the start. Look, I have my reasons, okay? I've contacted HQ. Other devil hunters in the area will be coming to back us up. 
So far, so good. Holy cow, these dolls are everywhere. Yeah, just one touch and you're no longer human. We're to eradicate any dolls outside and surround the department store. Prepare to use your firearms and devils. Oh fuck. I don't even know what that says, but that's okay. Jeez, bro. We already look sus as fuck. Got some fiends coming up on us. Are they working with Santa? My guy is like trying to square off like this. Dude is literally being, bringing fists to a fucking sword fight. Yeah, GG. See you later. She vanished. Of course she vanished, bro. She's do I love the way that they the way that they even draw the motion. Fuck that's insane. Yeah, dude, Quan, she's crazy and she's just going through all of them. Fuck, look at how much she's fucked up her blade. Holy shit, bro. She's just raced through him. Taking chips and shit out of it. Like, it's like the reflection of her eye, too. God damn it. Holy shit. Yup, next two. The one who vanished is still close. Is she laughing? She's just laughing, right? You're in Japan. Speak Japanese. It's a devil that can make you disappear. Sato, use your devil. Yes, sir. Sato. Hey, something's wrong with your face. Sato, we are being fucking dismembered, bruh. What? <laughs> like, what? It's the splat. Holy fuck. Disappear. My guys, we were just beheaded. What? Nah, you know what this is? You know what this is? You know what this is? Wait. Was this Quan Chi? So she's gone and she's actually cut through everyone's head. And just now, after she's already arrived at her destination, now it's like they're like sliding off and, 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 and finally realizing that they're like about to die or some shit. Because she's going to run through them all. That's insane. Holy fuck, man. Yeah, dude, this is Quanchi, man. That's crazy. That's what's fucked her blade up. Oh my god. What the? Huh? Angel, Nakamura, defend. You'll die. Nah, dude, she's mental. Holy! Can we be friends, please? <laughs> Quanchi, can we be plan Can we be friends, please? Can you not hunt us? Can you just be on our side? Nah, there's no way that ends like that. <laughs> Dude, fucking Quanchi died. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, this... <laughs> Dude, that's insane. That is insane. Holy fuck. Yeah, well, I think I have a new favorite character. High key. Um, yeah, okay. Dude, Quanxi, I see you. She is sick. She uh, she has got some absolutely incredible skill. But, like, girl does not seem the single bit phased. Like, she is stone cold as fuck. Doll, human, I will cut through you. I will cut directly through your goddamn face. Like, your head. <laughs> like, dude, the, the disappearance devil or whatever. Like, she wasn't doing shit, bro. She was just laughing. <laughs> she was like... She was like, yeah, look, any minute now. That's insane. Also, my bad earlier. Not getting the thing about the brothers, man. I, I swear, it is it is cooked hours indeed. It's like 6.30 in the morning. We haven't slept, but... Um, glad we got there. Dude, holy fuck. Bruh, the Quan Chi should send in me. Jesus. Is the is the next is the next chapter This isn't a new arc, right? It's not. No, it's not. Okay, cool. We I think we got a couple 
We got a couple left, right? Yeah, we do. I think we got a couple left. Oh, wait. Should we just go to the next volume? Wait. When's the next volume again? <laughs> When's the next volume again? Isn't it soon? I think maybe the next uh, the next read through that we that we do will be like the end of this volume or something like that. I think. Um, yeah, look, I'm gonna just say it. She's crazy. I really want her to be our friend. <laughs> I doubt that that's gonna happen though because she's an assassin. But also at the same time. She uh she said that she seems to want some pretty um pretty simple and pretty basic things. She said that she wants her girls to have um you know access to like the basic necessities. In a way, actually, she's kind of similar to Denji in that regard, in as much as there's not too much that she cares about. She just kind of uh goes through the motions and stuff like that as long as she has the ability to protect what she wants to. I think next chapter is the last for the volume. You know what? Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just do it. I think so, right? 62? Yeah, okay. Let's just do it. 61, we go. News reporter. I will finish what I'm saying about Quancy, though. I do think that she's just kind of, like, got... Uh, she just cares for what it is that she holds dearest to her. And then everything else is just a matter of just doing it because she has to in, in order to be able to protect that. At least that's how it seems. Um, but yeah, dude, she's fucking sick. She's probably... I mean... She's, she's actually, in a way, kind of just as terrifying as Makima in some ways. But I wonder, uh, I wonder what else there is to her. Because, of course, that's just not it. That's not the only thing I think that she's got up her sleeve. And even then, it's like, you know, that's not even her ace in the hole. Like, you wouldn't show that immediately. But the fact that she's literally just been able to massacre, like, 49 people in literally just seconds... With a single blade at, like, that speed. She just landed in there. She's put Angel and Aki both on their asses, on their backs. And it's just, it is what it is. That's fucking nuts. Anyway. Chapter 61. News reporter. Damn, Denji. Fucking chained up and shit. Yeah, GG. Hmm. That's mental. Holy... Halloween! I still am so curious about her, but she seems to be able to brainwash people. Stop right there, Missy. No strength from the group. We need to catch up with Lady Quan Chi quickly. Oh. Oh? Finally. They're away from Quan Chi, eh? Mm. You two go take care of the dolls in the department store. I'll handle this. Got it. Yes, sir. What's this now? I don't know Japanese. Saw it. He's contracted devils are uh, so that's what this is. So this is like a monocle where she can she can read what people's devils are. That's pretty cool. He's contracted devils are claw, knife, needle. Friends with some rather dangerous devils, I see. But this Japanese man is no one special. Mm, girl, I'm sorry, you don't know the first thing. Oh, are we about to see her girls get taken away? That would suck. That would suck for Quancy as well, too. She would go crazy. Yeah, look. GG. I think... I think we... We... I think we... Yeah, look. <laughs> I think we chose the wrong target. He barely has anything left in his body he can use to pay the contracts with. I wouldn't be so sure about that. He's got another way. He's been at it for as long as he has. I feel like that's a rookie mistake, man. Holy fuck, bro. She's insane. And her two blades on knocking Aki and Angel down. Crumble. She'd be the type to, like, cut through you with her fist, man. Boah, oh, Denji. Bruh. Oh, my God. Doesn't even say a word. Not a single thing. Holy. Boom. Octopus. God damn, bro. Ink. Ugh. 
Dude, holy shit, the way those tentacles are drawn. Oh my god. The shadow, but the line work is crazy, man. Again, what I love about Chainsaw Man is that some of this just looks so rough, but it really adds to, like, I think the gore and just how, like, gruesome that some of these details look. Like, they look gruesome sometimes. Yeah, Fujiwato is crazy. It's gruesome. It looks brutal. <laughs> I mean, I know we're just looking at, like, an octopus tentacle and stuff like that. That's not really gore, but, like, it's, it's actually, it's kind of fucked, man. It's crazy how talented, how talented they are. Fuck, bro. Yeah, no, nah, that ain't. That's not gonna work. Ain't no way. A knife. Quanxi. It's been a long time. Dude, they literally look like each other. So, of course, you guys know each other, man. Oof. Oh, her girls. Ow. <laughs> Denji, power. Restrain these two. If they try anything, kill them. Powie, hey. Power, get up. I was playing dead. Impressed? No, you idiot. Ugh, really hurt. There's no way. Okay, you see. There's no way that a woman that just did all of that if this is not an acknowledgement of his power, bro, overwhelmingly so, I don't know what is. Because there's no way that someone who's just done all of that goes to sit down at a table on request and be like, right, I'll hear what you have to say. What, what do you want to talk about? What are we here for? Ain't no way. Where are the other two fiends? They got away from me. Public safety and the police have the entire area locked down. They'll get caught any second now. Once public safety cleans the dolls downstairs, cleans up the dolls downstairs, I'm taking you in. Don't move a muscle until then. This isn't like mad dog Kishibe. You've gotten crafty. Did being collared turn you into a real dog? I'm past 50 now. You mellow out at my age. I lost my fangs a long time ago. So my guy is trying to help her out. Makima must really be terrifying. Like, she must really be terrifying or have something that she's trying to achieve that that public safety are maybe aware of or do not or, or have caught on to that don't want her to, to achieve or something also makima is listening so remember my theory was is that she was doing it with animals does she literally just have the ability to listen in on people's conversations and shit like telepathically like, that's fucking nuts. God damn. I mean, of course, look at her power. Like, yeah, she's truly terrifying, but we don't know to what extent whether or not that is like the most terrifying that you can get, right? And we don't even know who's like above her at this point and like what they possess. But for even Kishibe to be like, Makima's listening, like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> or, like, pay attention to my notebook. I can't say anything. I lost my fangs a long time ago. Meaning that even he has been put on a leash. There's certain things that he can't do now because Makima's around even. And even he's scared. Like, he's got to defer to Makima in some way. Like, it just kind of... you. It's like peeling back layers on an onion. And you gradually just start seeing more and more and more about one, how sus Makima is, two, how powerful she is, and three, how terrifying she is. It's crazy. Devil hunters die before they reach old age. You should retire now while you still can. And live on a pension? No way. Though I am getting pretty up there in age. 
Do what I say and I'll let you go. I can guarantee your safety. Nowadays, going senile in retirement scares me more than any devil. You won't go senile if you follow the times. Keep watching the news, reading the newspapers. Constantly experience new things. G going to kill Makima will tell you everything if you'll help. What the fuck? <laughs> what? So now we've got like a public safety coup? We've got a coup d'etat or some shit going on? Bro, what? And so what's she after that we need to kill her then? And what happens to Denji? Who's she in charge of? Who's in charge of her? Is she just like roaming by herself then? Is she like on her own tyrannical rampage or something like that that she needs to be killed? What's she doing? <laughs> like what's she doing? Holy Makima, who the fuck are you bro? Who are you? I don't understand how she gone from literally like best girl contender and I was so down bad, bro. I swear to God, the entire anime, I was like, please, Makima. Is it Makima? Is it power? And then now all that's happened, the moment that you just get further in the story, everything is just trust issues. <laughs> I wonder what relationship these two have with each other, though. They've probably either worked together or worked against each other before. I mean... Uh... For, like, for Quanxi, right? Yeah, maybe they've worked alongside each other before. There's this reporter on the morning who knew who's my type. I watched that program every day. I'd even buy the magazine she was in. Things like that. One day, she was exposed for lying about her age. After that, it was like the floodgates opened. Exposés on her ex-boyfriends and bad behaviour aired on the TV one after the other. She kept appearing on the, news morning, uh, on the morning news regardless, but I stopped watching that program. It wasn't the reporter that had changed, it was my brain that had changed. The secret to leading a happy life in this world is that ignorance is bliss. Real world parallels facts. Kishibe, be a good dog and keep your collar on. Some advice from your former buddy. Mmm, K. Alright. I mean, look. Whatever. Gunshots, smun so shots, whatever. Ow. Damn. Quatsi! Oof. Oof! To be continued, fuck. Okay, this volume was crazy. <laughs> My guy. Hey, stupid short chick. Huh? Y yeah? Don't you have something to say to me? Huh? Can't you even thank me, you fool? Thank you? Why? Excuse me? You don't know? I saved you from that assassin's attack. <laughs> don't listen to the things Power says. She's convinced herself that she actually saved you. She alters the memories in her brain. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is what just happened. I'm a hired killer, dude. I'm gonna kill you all, dude. Save me. What's that cool car? Hooray, it's Miss Power's car. Eat my car. She's too strong. I knew you were the strongest devil hunter, Miss Power. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> dude, Power's on some shit, man. I mean, she's always been on some shit, so that's not really that new. I mean, I love the fact that it's got like you know, her number plate, her number plate is her own as well too, like her name and stuff like that, but damn dude, the plot thickens and it thickens by a lot. Um, that is definitely pretty fucking wild with the way that things have gone. Uh, I think naturally there's a lot going on now as well too. So I, I really do feel like I need time to like take it in. I feel Chainsaw Man is not a story that you can rush through, if that makes sense. Um, and so maybe in future videos, there might even be points, I think, where I like go back on certain panels or like spend more time trying to just like analyze things. Because I think I feel like things are kind of like getting a little bit more. Um, uh, uh, congested and compacted, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like there's a lot of information 
that's being compacted into like certain scenes or you know certain chapters uh, or something like that which is a lot to like draw back to what we already know plus to theorize about what's coming ahead but um yeah dude i feel like as well too the writing is one thing that's getting me at the moment too because there's like certain things that are being set up here which i can tell that things are being set up things are being foreshadowed and yet i don't know what's being foreshadowed i don't know how it's being foreshadowed but all i know is that there's certain things that are going to be really important like you know kissy bear being a good dog and keeping his collar on and what that means and why he has a collar how he had how he got the collar in the first place how that was even put on him but also you know these certain points where we're being introduced to makima's strength but not being not being told about it directly or not being shown it directly and i mean also the other thing as well too is that makima at the moment she's always listening and she's on the sidelines and stuff but even within the actual chapters we don't see her much she's there like at the moment around this story as we're reading she's just on the peripherals she's supervising she's there but that's even just as terrifying actually because she's always central at the core of everything that's going on she's ordering basically what's going on with denji the protection of denji she's she knows about it all though she knows about it all also notice that she said um that at all costs denji is the one that needs to be extracted so it's not about power it's not about aki even it's not about the team per se like denji is her main priority which makes me wonder like yeah sure the gun devil is after the chainsaw devil's heart so naturally they want to protect the chainsaw devil right but I mean, I don't know, I, like, I'm sus of Makima, like, why, what, what is it that she wants from Denji? She doesn't just, she doesn't like him, like, I don't, I don't feel, I don't trust, or I don't feel like I can, like, just justify, like, you know, Makima's behavior towards Denji, or, like, making sure that he gets saved, because it's like, you know, she dotes on him or anything like that, like, I'm still convinced that the doting is, like, a manipulation tactic. Like, she's doing it because she wants something from him. Even if it's just his cooperation. Because she knows that, you know, he's got, like, pretty much, like, a one-track mind. And that's what he's going to go for. But, like... <laughs> at the same time, I don't know what it is. But also, at the same time, like... You know, we've seen her use her powers sometimes. I mean, recently was when she when she killed Reyes. But uh, beyond that, she hasn't shown anything else. And yet... You know, now we've got Kishibe, who literally is, as we saw in the anime as well too, he is an absolutely fucking insane devil hunter. He's worried for his own life. There's a plan that apparently exists to kill Makima for whatever fucking reason. Knowing how powerful she is, we're trying to kill her. Like, what? what is so groundbreakingly crazy that we need to do that like what is it that she's trying to do then is she making an enemy of public safety is she making um is she trying to do something dangerous behind the scenes that we just don't know about yet like yeah yeah right and it's like hmm. Honestly, Makima, as a character, I really like. Honestly. I really like her as a character. Because she's super mysterious. She's super mysterious. She has her moments where, you know, I think you can, like, you know, like, be drawn into, like, her personality and her charms and stuff like that. When she dotes on Denji, for example, and stuff like that. And seeing them interact, I think, like, far earlier on. But at the same time, she's actually terrifying. She is terrifying. Like, her, the mystery that shrouds her, that she is shrouded in, is the scariest part. Because she could literally fuck you up immediately. But she intentionally chooses not to. 
she's keeping everyone alive. But what I wonder though is for how long? What if she's working with the gun devil? I don't know how I could justify that. But I just like I don't like all these situations. All these situations that we're in. I mean, Denji's been like fucking dismembered twice already. We're even going as far to like use him as bait to like lure Santa Claus and stuff out. For someone that's allegedly like so, um, for like Denji, who's like so important, right? It's so important that like he doesn't, um, you know, that like he doesn't die or that he doesn't like get taken by the by the gun devil or you know, the gun devil's associates or something like that, that he's not put in harm's way, to be used as bait also, like, I get it in a, in a way, but it also kind of doesn't make sense. It's like, you know, no pun intended, but it's like literally flirting with the devil. <laughs> like, you know, you're, you're literally asking for trouble if that's the case, or like asking to potentially lose your most valuable asset. So I'm like, what's, what's, what's going on here? What's happening? Anyway, I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what the next volume is going to be like. That's going to be crazy. But, yep, like I said, two chapters my ass. Lol. <laughs> Round up, wound up reading way more. The American guys I'm excited to see more about. I think it's crazy that the um, that the Soviets just happened to get three shots in on Denji. He gets poked one more time and dude is gone. Dude doesn't even know he got fucking poked anyway. Um, Quan Chi, crazy character. I want to know more about her, her history with Kishibe. And uh, also her fiends as well too. Just what the go with go is with them. Um, despite the fact she's got she's got a very uh, odd sexual and intimate relationship with her fiends, but to each their own, I guess. Um, but yeah, man, shit's heating up. There's a lot more happening as far as new characters are concerned. I love how we just moved straight on from Rees and that arc to something completely different, <laughs> and then. All of a sudden, we've got some characters coming back in. We've got new characters that have been introduced. There's tons of people trying to fucking kill us. And at the same time, you know, Power's pulling these fucking antics where she's just being herself. Completely clueless, really. And, yeah, Denji just keeps getting absolutely beat the shit out of. It's crazy. But, anyway. Thank you guys so much, as always, for tuning in. Love and appreciate you guys, of course, um, for tuning in as well, too. Uh, I really hope that you enjoy these reactions, these vibes, these discussions that we wind up having as well too i do just want to say again please do not spoil down in the comments below it is literally the worst thing ever um finding out future plot lines and spoilers and all of that type of stuff no one really ever looks favorably on them as well too so please don't be that person um but yeah man very much looking forward to checking out what the next chapters and the next volume of chainsaw man is going to be like but until then Take care, stay safe, full episodes, rather should I say full and censored episodes slash videos over there, available on the website at lktv.au and more coming over here on the YouTube channel as well too. So do feel free to give the video a like and subscribe for more. But until then, take care, stay safe, love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.